Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's new video. My name is Noah. If you're new here, I'm a bookish and lifestyle vlogger born and raised and still based in New York City. If that sounds like of any interest to you, I would absolutely love it if you would stick around and subscribe at the end if you so please. I'm editing right now and I realize that I didn't make an intro for this video. So for Blackathon, I participated for the first time and I was part of team thriller horror because thrillers are one of my favorite genres and I'm realizing that I'm actually really enjoying horror books. I read four books. They are listed down below along with the prompts. I read Grown, Lakewood, They All Fall Down, and The Year of the Witching and I am very pleased with the results. They were all very interesting and I would definitely recommend them. Please keep watching to see how I enjoyed them and also let me know if you participated in Blackathon and what you read. What team are you on? My phone actually just died at the perfect moment because I had been meaning to read after we just finished eating popcorn. Um, we had a little snack as a family and I'm gonna finish this book today. I meant to do a little bit of which way is up. I need um hold on there we go i don't always take the book jacket off but sometimes it gets in the way this coordination with my shirt is not on purpose i meant to do a check-in for this book but last night i couldn't do i couldn't stop reading it it was really hard to get through i pushed through so hello oh my god my mom is shredding paper i'm so sorry if you can hear it this book is about enchanted jones it's a mystery thriller which i didn't put that together but she wants to be a singer and she gets discovered basically by this artist named Corey fields and he's really big and famous and he wants to give her that life but she has this huge crush on him and then it says enchanted is dazzled by Corey's luxurious life but soon her dreams turns into a nightmare except now he's dead and the police are at her door who killed Corey fields all signs point to enchanted and it's really easy to get through holy crap that's so loud the book is really easy to get through but it is a tough topic because content warning for sexual assault manipulation just you know abuse in a relationship in general and so it i had to like not really take a long break but kind of like take my eyes off of it for a little bit and just sort of absorb the information because it is really heavy i guess i could compare that feeling to when reading a little life because i really like enchanted and i really want to help her or also like when you're watching svu for maybe the first couple episodes when you're not yet desensitized to it because it's just like sex crimes all the time but like sort of like that and from the beginning like i did not like what was going on red flags immediately i don't know if that was like intentional to show that from the outside it can look really bad i feel like from the beginning for me it just looked really bad so maybe you know it, it's not always like that you don't know it's going to be like that or maybe enchanted was just too enamored and so starstruck that she couldn't see it and other people could i'm already into part three or whatever it is the last oh i'm about to start part four actually right now i have that much left and the book has taken a kind of a turn that i wasn't expecting and i'm not really sure where it's going to go from there i'm not really into that twist but um up to that point i had been really enjoying it so i'm gonna sit here and finish this and let's see what happens As you saw, I did finish Grown and I really enjoyed this. There was this part about Gabriella that I didn't like. I was confused. Like I understood the outcome of it and why it was important, but like the reasoning of getting to there or like the middle part of that whole storyline was so weird to me. So I don't know if I wanna dock that like a full star, but I, it was like not even that important. So I'm gonna give it 4.5 stars. I really liked this story. I posted this really gorgeous, if I do say so myself to my own horn here, Instagram photo of for this book. And I really, really love this photo so much. All of the yellow tones, it's one of my favorite colors. And obviously this is a really hard hitting YA novel, but I think it's really important. And even though this, is a work of fiction and it may be inspired by the case of r kelly this is happening to a lot of women not just specific to the music industry no not just 
specific to women to a lot of people it's important to see the signs and to be a good support system for the people in your lives that this may be affecting and especially like the police they have to ask a lot of invasive questions and in a lot of cases women especially are not believed which makes it all that much harder for men uh, or anyone else to come forward because they fear what the public might think that the police won't believe them and it's important to surround yourself with people who support you are going to have your back amazing for the first read I did spend way too long reading this just because I haven't been dedicating enough time to reading I say that way too much so I'm gonna get started on my next read right away also I do want to say that when I posted that Instagram photo somebody recommended allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson so I can't wait to read more works by her because I really enjoyed her writing and whenever I would sit down and take the time to read this I would get by get through it really really quickly I don't think I can upload this vlog when I want to because I'm so behind. Hold on. Ew. I'm not as far as I would like to be. I'm not even halfway. This book was published in 2020. It is so creepy. I'm about to start chapter 9, right? So I'm not even 100 pages in. And someone blurbed this and they said, oh here, as someone at Essence wrote, reminiscent of Jordan Peele's terrifying film, Get Out. And I have to agree, it's getting really creepy. So the main character, Lena, her grandmother just died and she was basically raised by her grandmother and her mother is prone to seizures. When her grandmother dies, Lena realizes just how much debt her family was in and she really needs money. You know, she's in college. She is so busy busy but she ends up having to drop out of school to work um, to be able to support her mom now and so she ends up signing up for this super underground or like super secret uh, top secret project called the Lakewood project so she can't tell anybody she's doing it which is already really sus that gives me lock every door vibes by riley sager she participates in a secret research program full of seemingly world-changing discoveries an eye drop that makes brown eyes blue a medication that could be a cure for dementia golden pills promise to make all bad thoughts go away but the consequences for the subjects involved could be devastating as the truths of the program reveal themselves lena learns how much she's willing to sacrifice for the sake of her family but she's doing it because like her they're paying her really well. She gets like $3,000 a week or something. On top of that, she gets really, really great healthcare benefits, which sh her mom needs. She'll be able to get all the top-notch care that she requires, that she deserves. And that's like a really fucked up thing that like in this stupid ass country, that's what you have to do in order to like get by, basically. Just get by. And now this is shitty. So the book is really creepy because Lena is doing all of these tests. She's not really told anything about the injections that she's been given the pills that she has to take not she's not being told anything about what's in them and now she is living in lakewood which is this really secluded town i think she said she was from the bay area so somewhere in the california area i'm assuming the people there are super weird they're like not even really supposed to get to know each other or anything i am enjoying it so far like i'm really really intrigued but shit is freaking creepy okay that's that's my thoughts so far <laughs> La oh dang okay last night i finished lakewood and i really enjoyed this i think i'm giving her four stars it was very creepy even though i did enjoy it very much get out vibes that was definitely an accurate description super weird experiments for what reason we don't know it might be that lena was specifically chosen like she was targeted i made a mistake it's not taking place in the bay area it literally says michigan right here in the blurb i wish i finished it faster the next i'm going to be completing but i'm going to be starting a new book for the weekend i'm definitely not uploading anything today which kind of sucks i also forgot that lena's 21 so she's around my age and it was so weird thinking about because i feel like in most adult books the characters are usually older than me and they're usually in their late 20s or 30s so i kind of forgot everything about this is just so sus but i really enjoyed the direction that this book went in after a long ass week, uh, because I just never have time to read, I finally finished They All Fall Down by Rachel Housel Hall. Yes, it's already March, but I'm still continuing this because I want to finish and get through it. But I'm giving this one 3.5 stars. It started out really slow. I think that if you are were a fan of The Guest List, or rather maybe more One by One by Ruth Ware, and um, a little bit of The Girl on the Train, 
um, in regards of having an unreliable main character, this would be really interesting. It definitely got better for me by the end, which is why I'm giving it 3.5 stars because I feel like there were a lot of details. I don't know if I was just, I missed it or something, but I'm not sure how exactly everything went down or how it was orchestrated rather. It's very creepy. You know, they're on a remote island. You don't know what this book is about. So Miriam Macy is invited to go on like this TV show show or something this reality show to a private island off the coast of mexico with six other strangers when she gets there she realizes that everyone was invited under false pretenses and everyone has a secret which is sort of like the guest list and then the remote part and is all one by one this danger lurks in the lush forest and in the halls and bedrooms of the lonely mansion sporadic cell phone coverage and miles of ocean keep the group trapped in paradise and strange accidents stir suspicions as one by one they all fall down i was a little bit nervous about this one because the reviews were really bad it's not as terrible as i thought the reviews were yeah 3.5 stars and the next book is the year of the witching by alexis henderson i felt like this would be the best one which is why i saved it for last and i'm really trying to read as much as possible during this weekend because it's already march and i this vlog is like two weeks late so this one is horror fantasy i think it's about a young woman named emmanuel who lives in this puritanical community where the prophet's word is law her mom got pregnant by someone outside of their community so their, their family is outcast and emmanuel is seen as weird and not really part of the community. She's lured into the forbidden dark wood that surrounds the community that she lives in where the first prophet once chased and killed four powerful witches. But it says that there are spirits that lurk there and they bestow a gift on Emmanuel. The journal of her dead mother who Emmanuel is shocked to learn once sought the sanctuary in the wood. The woods where her grandmother tells her that she should never go. I'm only like 50 pages in and it's already super creepy. Not the best book to be reading at night but I am enjoying it. So I've recently started to read more horror like over the past year i'm a total wimp when it comes to like horror movies so i feel like my imagination is not letting me fully create these horrific images because i'm scared and i'm mostly reading this at night i'm maybe halfway already which i'm really glad about i was able to read over 100 pages last night it'd be amazing if i finished the book today not really realistic but i hope that i can read at least 100 pages again the mystery aspect of like what's in the dark wood and this whole plague blood plague thing is interesting to me and ezra didn't know i didn't see that coming what happened with his visions i think um in the dark wood like why did he get it then is he okay is that like changing how he views the position of the prophet and being the heir and this book is creepy as shit but i'm not really allowing myself to like fully dive into that because i'm too scared last night i was able to finish the year of the witching by alexis henderson and i think i'm giving this four or 4.5 stars at the point where the darkness begins i'll say that i was unsure about the direction of where this was going to go and where emmanuel would end up but i think i'm okay with the ending i think it was really really scary but i'm surprisingly reading a lot more horror than i would have thought i would and i enjoyed this a lot and i'm glad that i had a pretty good run during blackathon even though it's you know the first second week of march now so i'm going to wrap everything up my first book for this month-long readathon was grown by tiffany jackson and i gave this book 4.5 stars the next one i read was lakewood by megan giddings and i gave that four stars they all fall down by rachel house hall and i gave this one 3.5 stars and lastly as i said i read the year of the witching which i gave four stars i'm really glad that i was able to participate in blackathon and i was really excited for the new prompts the teams even though i felt really overwhelmed and busy during this time and i wasn't really able to participate participate but i'm really glad that i was able to come out with great reads that i would recommend to anyone even though i only have three right now but i had a, such a good time with this readathon and i hope you enjoyed let me know what you thought about any of these i know that grown was really popular and so was the year of the witching and i've heard like really amazing things about both of these so let me know your thoughts and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and i will see you all next time bye